Oh, hey there guys. How y'all doing today? This beautiful morning or night or afternoon depends on when you're watching. So yeah, today we're gonna install uh, Microsoft DAWs 6.22 and most importantly, we're also gonna install Windows 3.11 for workgroups. Work so yeah, let's get let's get going. Uh, first things first, we gotta install Microsoft DOS, which is the main part of the puzzle. And after we get this installed, we can finally proceed to Windows itself, because Windows is uh, DOS dependent. It's a window window manager for Microsoft DOS. In case you don't know, it's not a proper operating system yet. It only becomes a proper one after Windows NT. So yeah, before that it's just a window manager, like iTree window manager and awesome window manager for Linux. So it's not quite an operating system. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get going my boys. Continue press enter. Yeah, let's let's configure that. Uh, Okay, it's gonna restart my computer now. Make sure set up disk is in drive A. Press enter. Okay, I'm sure it is in there. By the way, it's a 486. We're using an emulator for this, not a VM. So we have the most accurate rendition ever of how it how it was back then to install the system as far as uh, speed goes. Formatting speed, uh, disk size, memory, hardware. We are all we are running legit hardware. I mean, it's not a real computer, not a, a real 486. We are, we are emulating real hardware. So CPU, uh, graphics card, RAM. It's all from the good old days. Date and time, keyboard layout. Yeah, settings are correct. United States I'm sure it's United States yeah we can go on with that yeah sure we can install it there a fun thing though the installer is pretty much the same of like Windows NT Windows 95 98 it's the same blue screen that's fun we kept the same 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 screen for ages, actually, I think even Vista had the screen at some point, very beginning of the install, but now they got rid of it, fortunately. <laughs> Imagine that, keeping the same old screen from the 80s, but yeah, they kept that for well over 10 years, maybe more, a little more than 10 years, which is impressive, all things considered. Alright, so we have to get this number 2 in there. Which we're gonna do right now. We're ready. Oof. And that's just. Oh boy. What do you mean? It's this number two. Wait, wait, wait. What are you trying to tell me? It's. Oh my god. What's going on here? Oh, there you go. I was like, excuse me. Why is it not working? So it was just a little. I don't know what happened there, honestly. No clue of what just happened but um, let's just go on with this right because we gotta we gotta make them dreams come true am I right so if we have a 386 or higher processor optimize your PC memory by typing mem maker at the command prompt alright yeah I'll keep that in mind I'll definitely keep that in mind but from now I just want to get this Microsoft DOS installed it's a little it's kind of too new for uh, Windows 3.11 for work groups this one is from 1994 as far as I remember and uh, Windows 3.11 is from 1993 maybe 1992 so it's a little too new but yeah let's Let's just ignore that. Let's pretend it's Microsoft DOS 5. <laughs> Alright. And go on with it. Because that's what I had here. 
6 dot one HU. And uh, it kind of does the trick. Anyway, it doesn't matter much. I mean, it's Microsoft DAW. It's not like, wow, <laughs> what a difference we make, you know, getting uh, 5 or 4. It's all the same terminal, same commands, just a few features changed, you know. Even if your disk is working smoothly, running scan disk regularly is a good way to keep your disk in top shape. Oh, that's good to know. I'm uh, I'm keeping I'm keeping that in mind definitely. 99% complete. All right. Hmm. Remove all disks. Okay. I'm gonna do that, and then we can press enter, which will complete. Holy yeah! Hell yeah, boy. I was gonna say something else, but <laughs> just the only thing that came to my mind was yeah, so it was cringy, but hey, welcome to Microsoft DOS. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's Microsoft DOS, there's not a lot to see other than the cool black screen. So what well, we can list our files. As you can see, there's not a lot to see at all. We got that. Uh, let's see what's. Oh shit! There you go. Let's see what's inside. Mm, there's a bunch of things inside. Um, how do I browse through the files? I don't know. How am I supposed to go up? <laughs> That's something that I don't know. Anyway, let's get the. Uh, Microsoft uh, Windows 3.11 disks in there. Windows, 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 Windows. Oh my god, where is Windows? I lost Windows. S damn it. Alright. I'm gonna find it. Eventually. I mean, oh, there you are. So, eight. Eight disks, my dudes. Eight. We we're talking about eight disks. So, let's go back to floppy A and then we're gonna list all the things when set up is that it hopefully bad command what do you mean when set up excuse me let's try set up will you work now come on oh there you go Welcome to Windows for Work Groups 3.11 setup. Yeah, I want to install it. Express, please. Don't die on me. Come on. So it's starting. Eight floppies though. Oh my god, it's gonna be. It's gonna take a long, long time. It's definitely gonna take a long, long time to install. It's gonna be fun though. You're gonna be able to mess around with the node system. Running on emulated hardware from the past 486DX to 66 megahertz. That was the power back then. Like, if we were back in 1993, that would have been a very killer setup. Disk to all right. Change disk number two. Here you go. Wow, look at that. It just—it's so fast, snappy. And that's not even. There's a lot more, but it's gonna take us to a second screen, which is. Alright, it's gonna try and detect network cards. I don't think I. I enabled networking. Hopefully. Let me just fix this odd. Very odd looking uh, window. You know? Let's adjust. Make sure they fits the screen. Like, okay, come on, don't, don't, don't do that to me, Shh, dude. Come on. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so he doesn't quite. Oh, it fits the screen. It's just overlapping. All right, that's that's good. That's good. So it means the whole thing is in there. It's just overlapping over. I know what what's that blue thing under it, but all right, let's just pretend it's not there. Oh wait, it's asking for a key. 
key. Do I have a key for it? Mm, I do. Somewhere. Somewhere. Product key for it. God. <laughs> I don't think I do have a key for it. But I, I think I can just skip that. Product number. Okay, let's just try. Uh, so you choose used. Product number. Did that work? Probably not. Holy shit, no. No way, it did work. We bypassed. <laughs> we bypassed it. Somehow. Don't ask me how it worked, but we bypassed <laughs> the DRM. I mean, it was not even a thing back then. Digital rights management. I do imagine it was not a thing. I could be wrong. It could be very wrong. So that's that's the third disc, which we're getting in there. There you go. So we're almost there. Three from eight. Three of eight. I mean. So we are so damn close. And as you can see, it's overlapping. <laughs> Still. My mouse cursor is blinking, I don't know what it's going on because there's literally no such thing for me and my screen is not showing up. It's just a Windows setup screen, there's no Microsoft DOS screen under it. But you know, let's just, just pretend it's not there and move on. So disk 4, we do have disk 4. Uh, there you go. I think that's that's it. Yeah. Card file. Oh my God, it's such a slow install. Probably like the largest files because it seems like you know just fourteen percent doesn't look convincing enough. I think this first initial, very 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 first parts like the most important files, system core files, which are heavier, and then we move on to the lightweight shit and that's probably when the installation will just fly but I don't know by the way it's November 1993 the release date for this one so this rig was pretty much overkill for 1993 not like overkill but it was a good rig 16 megabytes of RAM 486 66 megahertz variant Intel of course and they <laughs> 250 megabyte hard drive that wasn't a big one but the system takes like 25 megabytes total so yeah it's not like we need a lot of space anyway it doesn't matter much you know we ain't gonna install Grand Theft Auto 5 on it nor could it run it but you know 30% installing the fonts now look at that we got a calculator, we got a few... Mm, okay. Drivers. Mm, micro... Notepad. Oh, look, paintbrush. Prog manager. Registry editor. Editor. Uh, times TTF, times BD, times BI, times Psi. I need drive the fat wing ding. Oh my god, wing dings there. Fucking wing ding. Okay, we're almost there. It's disc six of eight discs, so we're almost reaching the very end of this process. Hopefully, I know it's it's gonna happen. So we're about to figure out soon enough. Sixty-seven percent, sixty-nine. One thing I'm kind of curious about is the network, networking ca uh, capabilities of this very system. Uh, normal 3.11 is not networking ready, but this one is is ready for internet. So I'm kind of, you know, hyped about that. No, I don't have a printer. I'm sorry. Uh, my apologies. Why do you assume I have a goddamn printer? I don't. No network. Come on. No Windows support for networks. Okay, uh, install Windows Networks. Otter. Come on. 
Uh, okay, I don't have any of those. That's pretty sad. Yeah, I don't. So no additional network. Okay. Uh, install Microsoft Line Manager. Oh, yeah, we could go with networking enabled anyway. And uh, later on, we could get a network adapter. Okay. Oh, it has a bunch of those. Mine is a Realtek. Is Realtek even here? Please, please, tell me. Uh, no, there's no Realtek, as you can see. Uh, there's Zenith. I had a Zenith TV. Oh boy, back in the very early days. So we don't have uh, an outwork adapter. Yeah, you don't have an outwork. You won't be able to use networking features. Yeah. Shh. Uh, username. Nah, no, nah, it's just. I mean, there is no point. Uh, computer name. Let's call it a sim cheetah 11 because why not? And it's gonna disk 7 or disk with the updated Windows provider. Yeah, I think I do have this 7. <laughs> I mean, I do have this 7, of course. So it's gonna install an API, and we probably won't be able to network anyway because our card's not there maybe there's a way like maybe there's a sort of external driver for Windows 3.11 for the Realtek uh, emulated card we bought to figure out soon enough once we get done with this very long install <laughs> oh actually it's going pretty damn fast. I'm uh, I'm surprised with how fast it goes. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, holy sh. Holy cow. Uh, Microsoft DOS editor. All right. Damn. Run. I think we can skip that. Restart. Return to Microsoft DOS. So let's remove uh, all the floppies and restart the computer. All right. So, ooh, ooh la la, look at that. Starting Microsoft DOS, it's testing external memory, and now we can, boom, welcome, Windows. Networking, okay, I'm, uh, I'm right with that, I don't mind it. So can we finally get a order move? Okay. The screen doesn't doesn't let me. It's still glitched as fuck. I don't I don't know why. Define size. Oh boy, it's so glitched. It's so glitched. No, I think I broke it. Oh, there you go. So guys, now I have a sneak reveal but still doesn't look any good so I'm gonna try and fix the screen on control panel is it gonna read my card I wonder graphics card holy shit when you look at that so we have patterns we have screensaver settings but where do we change screen resolution because that's what I want to do so we can set up a wallpaper sizing grids but, alright, that's not quite what I want to do. I want to set up a graphics driver. Drivers, no, no. I want to install my graphics card. Add. Um, there's a bunch of things. But no. I don't have a roll one, for God's sake. Okay. How are we supposed to change the screen resolution on this thing? I'm at I don't think there is a way so let's just do custom and uh, shit CD-ROM resolution it is sizable so we're okay that's gonna help us a little bit if we go and click we can finally change the screen size and oh crap we look at that disaster so we have a big ass screen now. That's not quite what. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, that's definitely better to look at, but not for you guys. So I'm gonna try and fix 
this crap. It doesn't. Oh, well, yes, a little hard to understand at times. It just doesn't let me change. Move to the top, remove, rename, add. Jesus Christ. So let's try and add a game capture. I'll call it a PC emulator. And I'm going to use PC emulator as the main base. Enable alpha blending. Come on. So here's PC emulator, which doesn't show up. Of course, it does not. Oh my god. Why? Position size. You gotta be kidding me. It's capturing a single window. Like, seriously. Right when I wanted to show you guys what he had to. Oh god. Oh my god. Why is it happening? So, how am I supposed to change that uh, resolution uh, original? Okay, we're back to. Jesus Christ. Look at that. <laughs> it's fucking broken. It's fucking broken. But anyway, uh, I think I can show you guys through this very tiny screen. So here's the readme about this Windows version. As you can see, oh my god, it's so laggy. Because we don't have a card a GPU. So it probably won't work as... Wow, look at that. <laughs> okay, quit. Exit. We have a window set up. Program manager. Let's. Oh, okay. Accessories. So we have a few settings there. As you can see, we can minimize that back to the desktop. Minimize, please. Network settings. Remote access. Not watcher. That's cool. Minimize. Startup. What can we. Okay, there's applications. QBasic, there's a bunch of things in there. Microsoft DOS Editor, QBasic, so we could use. Hmm, we could make something cool. There's a clipbook, okay, uh, lo local clipbook. This, we can't even type. What you, what you mean? Uh, there's a clipboard. Hello. Seems like it doesn't read my keyboard. Cool. So we don't have a keyboard. Oh, we do. And know what's going on. Windows 3.1 used to work just fine. So we don't have a lot of features. Oh, card file. That's where we are supposed to. Testing out. Oh, hello there. Alright, so let's save it. Save as test. Let's see. <gasps> Wrong file name, but it's alright. So we have object packager. It's just like Windows 3.1, which makes sense. It's just a minor update. Cool, so let's save as file. Yeah, that's a very cool name. Remembering that we are limited to eight uh, character file names, which is very mad, but you know, it's a limitation. It's a 16 bit limitation that we have. Uh, in fact, I think it's a fat 3G limitation. Fat, fat, normal fat, not fat 3G. Fucking fat. And before, error hates fat people. I don't. Don't get me wrong. Oh, notepad. Look at that. So that's notepad.
and I always save it as a bitmap. Bitmap test. Ooh, bitmap BMP. There you go. So yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. 25 minutes took way longer than I thought installing all those things from scratch. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I did. Sorry, it's cool to go back in time and sorry about the video glitch that we had. It's just a minor thing. Let's ignore that. Let's pretend it's not happening. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a very simple system. There's not a lot to see, but back in the day, that shit was the coolest thing ever. It wasn't the system that got Microsoft popular. It was definitely not this one. It was Windows 95. But Windows 3.11 got uh, the sales up because Windows 1 and Windows 2 were lame. But Windows 3 was quite the right thing and Windows 3.1 kept uh, kept it going, the sales going. 3.11 was even better and Windows 95 was a, ma a masterpiece. I'm gonna make a video later on explaining why Windows 95 became uh, so popular and why it took so long for Microsoft to take off if compared with like Macintosh and and uh, OS2 and how they managed to stay on top for so long which wasn't uh, a clean manner to do it so let's just say they played a, a dirty a little bit but hey this is how the world works you have to play dirty sometimes and we can't blame them for doing that because our company is used to do that it's always a constant fight it was always like that we can't just pretend it's not like that because that's how the world works you're always fighting against your competitors so it does make sense um, i'm gonna make a video on it later on i hope you guys stay tuned and take care my dudes don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you wish and that's it farewell